Hello everyone, welcome to a super quick card tutorial. Like, don't blink, you'll miss it. This one's super quick. I got the Better Days little stamp set as a gift from Lawn Fawn for my purchase in their latest release and I thought I just really wanted to use it to make a card to kind of get it out of my system so I can work on some other cards. So today I'm using a card base, a blank piece of white cardstock, the really cute heart stencils by Lawn Fawn, the Better Days stamp set, and a couple of Distress Oxide inks. Today I'm going for a yellow and orange colour scheme. I always tape down my stencils before I use them to minimise movement and today I've decided to do it on an angle just to mix up the look of this card. I start inking up these hearts with my blending brushes and I'm going to change it up a few times with the colours going back and forth between the orange and the yellow just to get like a slight transition of colours across this card. As much as I like how this background turned out, I think next time I will use my little foam blending tools. I just feel like I'm really heavy handed with these inks and these brushes. They're great for when I'm doing really big backgrounds and things like that, but I'm finding I'm just way too heavy handed and my ink gets a bit smudgy even after I lift the stencils up and no matter how hard I try to keep them still, I still get ink everywhere. I think I'm just a bit of a messy crafter. As you can see my background's a little bit splotchy, but after I gave it half a chance to dry I thought it would be cute to add some gold flecks all over it because I just can't help it, I have to make all my cards shiny. Today I'm using the yellow gold and the red gold. I love this little Better Day stamp set, I think it is so sweet and the sentiments are fantastic. They're going to be pretty versatile and this little bunny is really cute so I'm just so grateful that Lawnform put these little stamp sets in our orders, it's just lovely. Here's that little bunny holding the heart, he's really cute and I don't actually own the stamp set where this little bunny design was originally from. I know this one's different because he's holding a heart but I don't have the other one and after seeing how cute this little guy is I really think I might need that set because you know I don't have enough lawn for one as it is. I'm going to very quickly colour this little guy in with some alcohol markers just using that super simple technique of two colours per area and blending them together. There's really not a lot of colouring in this card. This one was super quick to make. Once I was done colouring in this little guy, I went over him with my white jelly roll pens to give him some little white details, just to brighten up this cute little image. I didn't really like my background. I felt it was a little too big and some of the hearts on the edges were just not how I wanted them to look. They were just so smudgy. So I decided to trim this background with my stitch rectangle dies. The card was going to be smaller but I really didn't have a lot to put on the front of it anyway. Using one of my Lawn Fawn stitched hearts I cut out two in white cardstock and I went over them with some gold flecks as well. And look at how bright and shiny these look today, there was something about the way the light was hitting them. I just love these pigments so much. Now because I had decided my card was going to be smaller I also trimmed down my card base. And now I'm going to add my double sided tape to the back of this piece before I start adding my little images on the front and before I start giving them dimension. After sticking that down I thought it would be cute to emboss the sentiment on one of the hearts and on this one I've got sending big hugs and I'm going to be using my black embossing powder with this. As I said before I love these sentiments, I think they're so cute. They're going to be so versatile whether you're sending a card to someone who's maybe not having a great time or someone you haven't seen in a while. They'd be great for birthdays too. They probably would go really well with the virtual friends sets as well. It's just nice to have a bunch of sentiments to use. I'm going to be adding some double sided foam squares to my little bunny to give him some dimension and I'm going to be adding them on the back of the heart with the sentiment so that that one has dimension too. I remove the backing to the foam squares and then place these hearts onto the front of the card. Now because I love these sentiments so much I thought it would be nice to stick one on the inside as well. So I'm going with I hope you feel better, until then I'm sending hugs. And there we have it, this card is complete. How quick and easy was that? Such a nice quick project if you've got a little bit of time this weekend to make a card. This one would be easy enough to do multiples of as well. I hope you love it. Please don't forget to give this card a thumbs up if you liked it. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back again very soon with another card tutorial. Have a great weekend!